Hello everyone, uh, welcome to webmastercompass.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn bootstrap table. Table is used for tabular data or hierarchical data when you want to display data like usually you do in Excel sheet. So we can use table. While widespread usage of table across third party widgets like calendars and date pickers bootstrap tables are opt-in so you are you can adjust the design or of your tables using bootstrap there are pre-built classes available that you can utilize to give a responsive design or a better design to your tables while you are using bootstrap okay let's get started okay here i am inside a my template file let me create a table first uh, table.html Okay, I'm going to paste the content over here and here we are. So in this document, you can see we have a uh, like link that links of bootstrap CSS and we have a container and a row. Okay, so let's go and define a table. I am going to use the emit to just populate the table quickly. And in, within this, I'm going to call T hat within T hat we have a TR table row table data and I'm going to multiply we need four columns over here and uh, just one row on this one and then we had T body within this T body we will have a four rows over here and each row will contain uh, four columns okay so here I am and I'm going to just press hit tab over here. Okay, so table is generated, but somehow if you are at the end, so uh, and it's not populating, just press the control space at the end of the line. So it will start showing you the complete syntax, what's going to be happen, and then you just need to hit tab over here. Or if you are having the problem, then you definitely you can define it manually, just follow the syntax uh, like T hat tr okay so i'm going to give it a name user id and name okay age and country here we have heading and i'm just populating the rest of the data okay so here we are with some table data you can see i have defined some rows over here these are the four rows with four columns and some data Okay, I'm going to open this with live server. So here we are with the code. First of all, if you want to show this table using some bootstrap pre-built classes, so first you need to give a table to this table. So you can see it applied some design formatting to this table. And if you want to apply a table like this is a pretty the basic table if you want to give a border then you can use border table dash border so it converted into table dash border okay so this table is now look better and if you have other option over here if you want a border less you can just give a border less class so it will remove all the uh, border lines from this table okay so this is how you are going to define a border then uh, like you have different color options are available uh, if you want to give you can give a table dash primary these are some built-in colors available and you can utilize it primary then you have secondary and this is secondary then you have success there are many more okay success and if you want to give a alternate light and dark color like within this color scheme success you can use table that is strip okay so it will just give you a bit of formatting in this and if i'm going to apply this uh, into the primary it will give me like this okay and if i need a border then definitely i can use border so here we are with a simple uh, table with some borders missing. There are many color combination that you can search on internet uh, or Google about it. There is a danger, then warning, okay, info, light, dark, 
Okay, there are many more that if you want, you can definitely go ahead and use any of the table. Okay, so we have used uh, table this one and they are strip. I'm going to just remove these two. So that will be get back to our basic table right now. Okay, then we can use a uh, table hover. So this table hover give a alternate uh, color like it will highlight your table rows. Like when you are on this one, this is highlighting. If I'm going to just uh, remove this one, okay. So, so you can see now it has a stop working because I have just removed the table hover, and table hover gives the like just highlighting the upon when you will be hovering your mouse over it, okay. There's one more if you this you think that this table is taking too much space a bit more space then you can use table dash uh, sm so it will be uh, it will just reduce the padding into half so more compact view you can get okay then you can if you want to just highlight any uh, rows then you can use class table dash active and table that active will just highlight the column okay or rows you want uh you can even uh just define different colors if you just want and table primary success danger warning info there are you can also use these different colors in your table you can define table a uh, dark as well so these are uh, the table then uh, you can definitely uh, use a nested table inside a column if you want to uh, use, let's suppose your any table, then we can define the complete structure inside a column. This is called nesting. Uh, okay. There is, uh, let's suppose user have multiple nationality Then I'm going to define this, uh, let's say this one, and I'm going to just remove it. And within that, I'm going to define a table again. And within this table, we will have two columns so let's define this quickly here we are and i'm going to say is from australia and he is from and he's from india okay so now they are showing a different uh, two values inside of it and you can give a table dash uh, border so oh sorry the class you need to put this inside a class class table dash border okay so this is how it will be appearing that two columns are here so this is a table nesting that you can utilize uh, within inside the your table okay also table offer you a responsive design okay responsive tables allow tables to be scrolled horizontally with ease okay so you can make any table responsive across all viewports by wrapping in dot table and with table dash responsive okay how we can do this i am just going to create a div class over here and i'm going to give a class table dash responsive okay and what we need to do we can just copy the table and I'm going to just cut this table and going to add inside of a table responsive okay and what you need to do let me call this uh, columns a uh, copy of these columns you have multiple columns over here and then you will apply this to, so you can see it is going to start working you give okay so I have just give it a table responsive class and it's not showing the result but if you have more columns like i'm just adding more columns so you can see it is just going to give you a start a horizontal scroll okay so it also works on a sponsor so this is how table works i hope i give you more information and you can start using tables now using bootstrap thank you for watching this video